There's some debate on whether or not music can actually improve your memory. So what does the research say? In this video, I'm gonna break down the latest studies to get to the bottom of it. So watch until the end to find out if and how you can use music to boost your memory. Hi, my name is Sin Meyer. My work as a life coach for older adults centers around helping you live active, healthy, and engaged retirement lives. And maintaining your memory and independence for as long as possible is totally an essential piece of that dream. You know when you hear a song from your earlier years, or if you just think about that tune from that time, and then it brings up acute memories? There's a reason why music has such a strong emotional impact on us, and it can be explained by the activity in your brain. And the answer is yes, music can actually help improve your memory. Let's take a look at the core findings from six studies that prove that listening to music can improve your memory recall and your cognitive function and how you can make the most of this research. Study finding number one, music is the last to go. Music memory is one of the last parts of your brain that Alzheimer's touches. This explains why even Alzheimer's patients who endure increasing memory loss can still remember songs from deep into their past. And this also explains one of my all-time favorite video clips. This is what happens to Henry, an Alzheimer's patient, when he hears music that conjures up emotions from his past and it kind of wakes him up. It's a beautiful scene from the documentary Alive Inside. And if you dig into the internet, you can find more video clips like Henry's across social media and news stories. So ask yourself, do you remember the songs that you were listening to when you first met your spouse or songs that you heard the most at home during your childhood? Or if you were to make a soundtrack of your high school years, what would those be? It's not a bad idea to put together a playlist of your life so far as something to enjoy, one, and two, lean on as your cognitive aging takes place. Music and songs from deep into your life history can evoke powerful memories because the music is linked to emotional memories. If you wanna keep certain memories alive, listen to music that conjures up positive emotions from that time. As for the research behind it, a UC Davis study found that music triggers memory in the prefrontal cortex, the last part of your brain that Alzheimer's deteriorates. They looked at brain scans of people in the study and discovered that there's an increased level of mental activity in 17 participants who listened to 30 music samples. Okay, so that covers past memories. What about remembering current information? Our next research finding reveals that music also aids learning and memorization. So yes, it applies to today in helping you learn and memorize things better. It turns out there's a reason why so many teachers use music in their classroom. It works. And if you're looking for a way to help keep your mind sharp as you age, incorporating music as a learning tool and adding that into your daily routine is a great way to boost your cognitive health. For example, you can use songs and lyrics for healthcare adherence or to just remember certain things that you're learning about. My husband does this all the time, not to memorize things per se, but he happens to have this habit of putting sentences into song form. Maybe it's because he's a musician, I don't know, but if you want to remember to take your vitamins or your medications and pills, since we're on that topic, for example. It's a Monday morning and I gotta remember to take my Advil and my bitters. Totally embarrassing, something like that. Get in the habit of memorizing with music to exercise that part of brain processing. Researcher Brandon Ally ran a study in 2010 that showed music has the power to help Alzheimer's patients learn new information, something that can benefit treatment adherence. The small study of 32 participants was enough to give us an indication that Alzheimer's patients can use music to maintain independence. Like in my cheesy example of using a song to remember which medications to take and when. The same study also compared a group of healthy seniors with a group of Alzheimer's patients. The group of healthy seniors learned just as many lyrics with or without musical prompts. However, the group of Alzheimer's patients learned more lyrics when they were associated with music. In a nutshell, you can use music as a learning tool. And it's not just handy for reminders, it's also useful for remembering people. Our third research finding is music can help you remember faces. A study conducted by the Milan Me Center for Neuroscience in Italy found that listening to emotionally touching music enhances your facial memory capacity. The experiment measured the impact of auditory backgrounds like rain or joyful music, as well as emotionally touching music. And the research found that 
Across 54 non-musician participants, emotionally touching music improved memory and significantly increased their heart rates. That's not to say that all music is helpful for memory because some of it does the opposite. Here are some of the caveats. Listening to some music, especially complex music, can interrupt memorization. Silence can sometimes be more effective for certain memorization tasks. Background music can have a slightly negative effect on memorization and can sometimes interfere with certain cognitive functioning. So definitely choose your music wisely when you're trying to complete a task that requires concentration or improved memory. Go with emotionally touching versus general background music. On the topic of applying concentration, have you heard of the Mozart effect? Sarah Bottirioli out of Italy, along with her colleagues, found that processing speed improves with upbeat music. And your memory benefits from both upbeat and downbeat music. More specifically, they found that what they call arousal music and mood enhancing music like Mozart improves memory tasks among older adults. This arousal mood hypothesis also aligns with what's known as the Mozart effect, which was dubbed by William Ford Thompson and his colleagues. The Mozart effect is the theory that listening to the music of Mozart may temporarily boost your intelligence. As it relates to this study and memory, the Italian research group discovered that Alzheimer's patients have seen increased autobiographical memory. So whenever you're learning something new, use mood enhancing music without lyrics and tap into the Mozart effect. And if you're learning a new language, singing and music training can help you learn language skills and it shifts auditory development in adolescence. A study conducted by Adam Tierney and colleagues showed that students who went through music training exhibited earlier emergence of the adult cortical response, which means learning music can accelerate neurodevelopment. So if this were employed in schools around the world, children could improve their language skills in an effective, economical, and enjoyable way. Music can potentially function as a training ground for language skills, and it can help kickstart and accelerate the maturing of adolescent brains. You might be thinking, how does this relate to older adults? The truth is, because neurogenesis and your neuroplasticity, you can create new neural pathways for the rest of your life, which means it's never too late to start enriching your brain. You can learn a new language and use music to help the process along. And finally, research finding number six is music treats depression and it's beneficial for your working memory. Researchers at the University of Helsinki in Finland revealed in a 2015 study that leisurely musical activities, specifically singing, is beneficial for memory and mood, particularly in early dementia. They studied 89 patients with mild to moderate dementia who were given a 10 week music coaching intervention. And the study found that for patients younger than 80 years of age with mild forms of dementia, singing is beneficial for working memory, executive function, and orientation. For patients with mild Alzheimer type of dementia, both singing and listening to music helped alleviate depression, and it didn't matter whether or not the patients had a background in playing an instrument. There's a ton of evidence that shows the positive impact of music on the brain. Like any other muscle in your body, the brain needs to be exercised. Exercise your brain in new ways to increase your brain plasticity. With Alzheimer's touching one in three of us, at least in the US, it's so important to take preventative action. I'm not saying you can prevent Alzheimer's or cure it with music, but these studies do give us some pretty accessible ways to be proactive and curb the horrendous impact of dementias and memory decline. Alzheimer's is a disease that hacks away your brain for 15 to 20 years before you even experience any symptoms. So getting in front of these symptoms is something that you can actively put effort into now. To recap the core findings from these six studies, memories evoked by music are the last to go. Music helps with memorization and learning. Music can help you remember faces. It also improves memory tasks. It helps you perfect your language skills. And music has a mood boosting effect, which is why music therapy is so effective. So which of these takeaways from the various music and memory studies will you use to help with increasing your brain activity or to help your loved ones? Let us know in the comments below. We love hearing from you. It helps us do our job better and tailor our content to be more and more relevant to your life and your loved ones. So thank you so much for being here. Please continue to spread our movement and grow this community that is striving to be their best during retirement by liking, subscribing, and sharing and commenting on this video so that we can collectively drive our mission forward of helping other adults live their best life. I'll see you in the next video.